Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, December 21st, 5.03 p.m. Unfortunately, we're still here. So we have to keep carrying on. Who knows? We could go tonight at midnight. You never know. So I'm going to try to share a couple of things here in my email. Um, this one is not a good thing, but it's something that uh, many of you need to know if you don't already. I have, co I have covered this a little bit one time in a video about things like this, but for those who are new, and there's quite a few new people, I want to share this so you will know. This is from Now the End Begins, okay, or N-T-E-B. You can sign up for these newsletters for yourself. If you just click on the link that I'm going to provide, you can go find this article that I'm going to read out of. And um, I'm sure there's a subscribe now. It says right here, join our free subscription service. End Times Bible Prophecy News. You know what? I've never subscribed, and I should, but I have so many. People will send me these when there's something good to share. All right. The title of this is about Hillsong Church, and it says, Hillsong Church is a snake pit of open demonic activity. Now, if you like it, now please listen. Don't click it off right away. Do you hear what I have to tell you? I love Hillsong music, okay? But you need to know this. It's a snake pit of open demonic activity as it's revealed their New York pastor, Carl Lentz, and staffers ran it like the Playboy Mansion. Now, that might be exaggerating a little bit, but take a listen. The whistleblowers also claimed that Hillsong Church, which has... I'm sorry, I, my air conditioner just shut off and I'm still burning up. While it's blowing on me, I'm okay. I'm just hot today. All right. The whistleblowers also claim that Hillsong Church, which has been rocked by recent revelations that its former leader, Carl Lentz, had multiple tawdry affairs, was a, quote, breeding ground for unchecked abuse, un unquote. Page 6 is told, page 6, is told that in 2018, a group of former high-level volunteers and one who was still a volunteer at the time <clears throat> sent a letter to the Trendy Ministries leaders warning of, quote, verified widely circulated stories of inappropriate sexual behavior amongst staff and interns, unquote. Pretty disgusting for a church. Carl Lentz, who founded the American wing of the Hillsong Church, which began in Australia, was fired in November after it was revealed that he had cheated on his wife this year. It was subsequently revealed that he'd had a number of other affairs. Well, my, my, is that what they're teaching up there, that it's okay to do that? Probably not really coming from the pulpit. But your actions will speak louder than words. Always remember that. With the full blessing of Hillsong Church leader Brian Houston in Australia, Pastor Carl Lentz opened the New York City branch of the Laodicean Megachurch 
and proceeded to run it more like a playboy mansion than the church of God. The focus was on self, wealth, and Hollywood celebrities <clears throat> who were attracted to the no rules, come as you are and stay as you are, false doctrine preached from their pulpits. That's how the little church is down here behind us. I could go to it if they're open now, but no way. Their name is Unity. So, and that's their, that's their, uh, come as you are and stay as you are. All right. The false doctrine preached from their pulpits. Now the entire ungodly mess has imploded and is under investigation and claims of rampant sexual abuse of its members. No surprise here. Oh my gosh. This this is a this is in oh this is a scripture. Quote This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. That's homosexuality, generally. Truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent and that doesn't mean you can't hold your pee um, if you looked it up you you'd have to go to Strong's Concordance I don't remember right off I've looked it up before you're not able to hold your desires probably is more like it fierce despisers of those that are good traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. That's a long list. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5. And that's the King James Bible. That's that new King James Version. But that sounds about right. For years we have warned you about Hillsong Church from playing Eye of the Tiger as a worship song, holding a Christmas show in a Mayan theater with walls adorned with images of child sacrifice to Molech to the cover-up of pedophilia by Frank Houston, they could well be called Hell Song instead of Hill Song. In 2015, NTEB broke the story of Hill Song, New York City, having an openly gay worship leader who got engaged to his partner on a reality show. Need I read more? I'll read this last line. Quote, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Okay, that was not a good one to pick, because I've broken that one down. Second Thessalonians 2.3 what that means, the falling away, is really the snatching away of the bride. That's the first rapture. But the day of the rapture will not come until we're taken out of here. And then the son of perdition is revealed and the seals go on from there. But we'll be back to help everybody left behind. Don't forget it. Don't lose hope, okay? If you're not quite ready and you don't make it, do not lose hope. But it would be best to get rid of all your sin, repent, 
put God first in your life. Pray more. Get into the Word. Who knows how many days or even weeks we have. I don't know. I thought we'd be out of here maybe by Christmas. But it could be the end of the year. And it could be later. Because everybody has good reasons for why it's the 21st. Why it could have been last week. The fourth day of Hanukkah. It sounded real good when you looked at all the scriptures that talk, you know, talked about it. And someone's putting out something thin about New Year's Eve. Could be. They could be right. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So be ready. Get ready and be ready and stay ready. So share this with anyone you know loves Hillsong. Just in case they have any ideas of driving up there to Hillsong Church. They don't want to stay far away from all that abomination. Okay? Good boy. I'm so happy you laid in your new bed. I bought my dog a bed for Christmas so he could lay there beside me instead of on my ottoman where I need to put my feet. What a good boy. You're trying out your new bed. I'm so happy. It's way too big. I bought a medium. I should have bought a small. <gasps> anyway, so what? I have to plead the blood of Jesus over this video because Satan probably doesn't want this put out. And I want to put it out. I want y'all to know who they are. Well, you know, I'm... I don't know that we can say Hillsong Australia and their music is not okay. I'd have to do some research. But just because they approved this guy of starting the church doesn't mean they knew he was going to do all this. So this is something you, you might want to, if you really love Hillsong music, you, you know, I... I don't know anything about their new stuff. Australia, UK, America, if, if they're putting any out, I don't know. What I have is old stuff, and I'm pretty sure it's from Australia with, um, what's her name? Uh, you know, the leader, the sing, the lead female singer, I can't remember any, oh, for heaven's sakes. But anyway, I feel that that music is anointed. But what they've done since I've bought any, I don't know. Just listen to the words of this, all songs. If you're buying up anything new that's called Christian music, pay attention to the words of it. Okay? Because it could be any group that starts putting out stuff that we shouldn't be listening to. Be careful. Does any of it say Jesus in it? I mean, some of it doesn't even say God. I have heard or seen on YouTube songs that the words don't even mention God. And they become very, very popular because they have a great tune and a great beat. So be careful of what you're listening to. Who are they praising? Okay? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over all of us, all our internet connections, and I pray we meet each other in the air or up there very soon. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.